Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you the new and improved updated way of passing a variable using the Blueprint interface. This is an update to an older video I did on this, and I think this way is better and more predictable. I've been trying to do user interfaces and I keep getting errors all over the place. And using this way, I rarely get an error. But this is different from the way I used to do it. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to the blueprint level and let's go ahead and make our user interface. So we'll go to blueprints, user interface. And this does take practice. I'm just going to call this new interface and I'm going to call this super function. What's interesting about this is when I did the tutorial before, I said that you had to have the message on there, but this method doesn't require it to show the message. So on this, we can add inputs. And so this is very interesting to me. I am starting to slowly understand how this works. <laughs> so we're just gonna make this variable an integer. You can see the input here, we're gonna call it, it's gonna be called new parameter. And I could add as many inputs as I want. And you can think of this almost as a tunnel and the two blueprints are going to have their own unique variables on each side. And as long as the variables are all of the same type, it doesn't matter the name of the variable, the data within the variables can be transferred by way of the interface. This variable here doesn't have to have the same name as variables on the blueprint. It just needs to be of the same type. So hopefully that'll make more sense in just a minute here. So we got that all taken care of. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create just a dummy blueprint so we have something to receive. So we're just going to go add and we'll just make this a cube and we'll compile and save. And remember that the receiving blueprint, that this is a one-way communication from one blueprint to another, from the third person in this case to a new blueprint, and the receiving blueprint has to have the interface enabled on it. So it has to be implemented on the receiving blueprint, not on the sending blueprint. So here we're just going to come in here and search for new interface, and it's right there. And then all we have to do is compile and save. And then what we can do, once that's happened, we can create an event on here to receive the call from the sending blueprint. So we're just going to type in event, and it's going to be our super function. And see how it has a new parameter? So all I have to do here is just drag off of here and go print string, and then put this into here, and it'll auto-convert the integer into a printable string. And that's all we're going to do for this new blueprint. So we can just drag this into the scene. Then all we have to do is on the BP third person, just create an event and then make a connection to the new blueprint, the new blueprint. Yeah, so we just need to make a connection to that. So we're going to right click and we're going to go keyboard event and it's going to be a one. And then we need to make a variable to send our information in. So we're going to go just call this integer and we'll make it an integer and we can make it public and go compile and save. And we can set this to something really weird. So we know that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we know that there's no question that this is the data we're sending. So here's where everything differs from the other tutorial I did. Before I've tried casting, I've tried blueprint references, but now what I do is I just right click and I go get actor of class. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our new blueprint. So our new blueprint right here, and this creates all the connection that we need. So if I plug this in here, now I can pull out of here and make a call to our super function, call super function. And you'll see when I do, I have an input now for a variable. So now I just have to get this integer and plug it in. So that's why I say the interface is almost like a tunnel 
or a passageway. And so I can take, it doesn't matter what this variable called, as long as it's the same type as the input specified on the interface, I can send this data and it's gonna come through the other side, on the other side. So think of the interface as a tunnel. That's what it really is. It's like a passageway. And in this case, we have inputs, but then you can also make it do create a function inside the interface and then have, make it have a specific output as well. But we're just interested in sending data right now. So anyway, that's it. That's all we have to do. And now if I come into the game and I press one, there is our data coming through. And so this is just super simple to me now, whereas before I was really struggling with it. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a beautiful day.